Hi guys. Welcome to the hedge. I like to record my videos. <laughs> this is inside of a hedge in my house here in Sedona. Simplest places, right? So, um, I wanted to record a video. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't have my mic. I can't find it. Losing things. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know where it is right now. So, um, basically, I just felt like communicating with my internet family, soul fam, because I've been going through some transitions and I kind of feel like you probably have too, just because we all tend to reflect each other and go through the same stuff at the same time. So this is just a reminder because I find that it helps when I remind myself to do this. So I figured it would be nice to pay it forward and just remind you guys to tune in and be lucid and aware and deliberate about what you're creating right now. So that's the body, mind, spirit, you know, what are you thinking, what is your body actually doing, and what are you wanting. I, th I find that through all the experimentation I've done over the past decade and a half at this point of conscious manifestation and trying to fine tune it and figure out ways to not only manifest what we want in our lives, which is great and absolutely we should do it, but to also try to start manifesting like global level peace and health for the planet and the people and greater levels of consciousness and greater levels of love. I find that we get three things, a combo of three things. What we really want, truly want, which a lot of times, especially if you haven't yet integrated your shadow, maybe there are things about you that you might judge as wrong or bad. Um, when they aren't actually, it's just connected to traumas that you've had. And so a lot of times things will come weird because it's what you really want, but you might not let yourself admit that you want. The whole idea is not to kick any part of yourself out, but to harmonize it all so that all of the wants you have coalesce into a unified <laughs> project of life as art. Um, anyway, so what you truly want, what you think you deserve, that gets a lot of people, especially with the abundance shaming that goes on in our reality. And finally, um, what you think is possible. So if you're trying to manifest something that you, that you don't think is possible or that you've never seen anyone else do, look at people that have done it. Look at situations where it's already happening and just pay attention. Just look at it and see, feel it and see what that energetic code is that you can then absorb and run in your reality. I find that great things to do with manifesting are to require the win-win. Say you're not going to act until there's an authentic win-win and if this is an infinite universe then there has to be a win-win where everyone authentically feels like they won because a lot of times you can hear very very peaceful paradigms with some really crazy non-peace when it has to do with someone they think is wrong or bad or evil or whatever their um, equation of thing that is not me is you know. So my thing is, if it's a win-win and everyone authentically wins, then no one has to be punished. It can all just harmonize to the next level. And if you have resistance to that, as I'm saying that, if you're, if you're thinking to yourself, well, no, they need to be punished, come back and remember that you're choosing the paradigm you want to live in. I know I want to live in a paradigm where there is no war where everything just gets worked out peacefully on a micro level, person to person, interpersonal dramas, and on a macro level, planetary, universal, clean energy, um, an economic system in the world that elevates things, you know, that is a beautiful commerce where things can be exchanged in honor of where they've come from and who's made them, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I just wanted to give a reminder to what are you thinking? What are, you, what are you thinking about your world? What are you feeling about it? And you can cultivate these things. And then what do you want? So just be aware of what these things are. What is it that you're wanting? What is it that you're feeling? What is it that you're thinking? And then choose to do things that make you feel stronger. Choose to do things that align with what you want on a grander level. What you want for yourself and what you want for the world. And also remember that it's all about service and that might not necessarily mean doing for doing something for the person next to you it might just mean taking a moment of sacred intention and gifting that to humanity I find that with me it's important to spend enough time alone you know I have to I have to be able to tune in to, to this world here this beauty here in order for me to be able to do what I'm here to do so we're all different and you've got your own thing but be aware of what you're creating 
And then look around at your reality and see what you've already got. If it's something that you want and then really sink into that and burrow into it and love on it because that's going to bring more. And like I said, throughout all of my studies in this, I find that what we emit is what we receive vibrationally. So make sure, even if stuff is really bad, even if things are really, really bad and you're having a really hard time in your life for lots of legitimate reasons, you can still say, please, I would like things to get better, easier. You can, especially if you believe in things like guides and angels, you can call them in. That always helps. Or just, you know, pray. What I think that actually is, is talking to the grand consciousness that is everything and everyone and you too and it because it runs through all of it it's the it's the soul of the universe some people call it God but you don't have to but it's definitely there I mean you can feel it if you tune in you can't really you can't really argue that whatever values you want to put on it it is something that's there and I find that it is responsive so anyway sending love oh one more thing is the secret key the thing that I have found to be the closest thing to actual real magic that I've ever seen is gratitude. So if you can just cultivate gratitude in little, little bits and then just froth it up when it's there as best you can, your life will get super magical, super fast, I promise. Try it out and see. Okay, much love from the hedge. Hope you guys are having a great summer. Burning Man is coming soon. Come see me at Heart Tribe at from 2 to 6, Tuesday to Saturday, if you want to give or get some healing. Healers, come. Um, yeah, it would be great to see you. And much love. Oh, and uh, Heart Tribe is at 2.15 and E on Burning Man. So anyway, enjoy your summer.